Um, but Carl Jung talked about the collective unconscious, which is um, where unconscious material manifests itself into consciousness. Um, and it, it creates ideas and meanings that are relevant throughout all humans. Um, and one example I have of that is when we went on a roller coaster ride in a new book in one of our men's rooms. We're going up the hill and it's kind of just, and then we go down the hill. And it was really intense and everyone was like making sounds. And, and then we got to this point where everyone just took a breath. And it was almost like they were with these scientists and experience and they, and they needed to self-regulate. So we provided some interventions that allowed them to do that. And I too related to that image um, and that to that level of a um, group because I also was needing self-regulating at the time myself um, with all my schedule and everything. So that was pretty cool. Um, symbolism is another thing that Carl Jung used a lot, which I referred to in my my flower experiential. Uh, polarity, as I, as I discussed with Mary Whitehouse, is also part of my work. The idea of the mandala and the connectedness of the circle is important. I often start my groups at New Hope in a, in a circle formation to, so that everyone can feel connected to each other. Um, the idea of amplification, spreading out of associations, is something I use. So it's really helpful at New Hope because I can say, so where have we heard this before? Where have you done this before? So they can create their own idea of, of how they can relate to that concept. And active imagination is another term that Carl Jung and concept that he spoke about, which I talked a lot about in Mary Whitehouse's slide. So Carl Jung is very important in my work. And thank you guys for watching this portion.